Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry, it has been a while since I've posted a video specifically for the pre-med students out there. I've been making a little bit more content um, regarding medical school just because I am finishing up my third year and entering my fourth year of medical school. But I haven't forgotten about the pre-med students out there. I'm still invested in helping you guys out. Um, and if you guys didn't already know, I do offer pre-med advising via my Facebook page, Med School Mentor. So if you guys want to chat one-on-one -on -one with me, come shoot me a message on Facebook. Today, we're going to be talking about this pretty cool website that I just stumbled upon. I don't actually know if this was a website um, when I was actively looking for medical schools to apply to, but I'm super glad I, that I found it and I'm excited to share it with you guys. If you haven't seen it already, it's called Choose DO Explorer. And so this website is all about helping you guys narrow down your search and increasing your odds of getting into medical school based on your GPA, your MCAT, you know, the amount of tuition that you want to pay, the area that the medical school is at, whether it's a private or a public medical school. And all of the schools that I'm going to be covering today are DO medical schools. So if you have a low GPA, low MCAT score, you're going to want to focus a lot more on DO medical schools because they are more likely to overlook a or maybe not overlook, but be more forgiving of a low MCAT or a low GPA. But there is one um, thing that I really want to touch on in this video, and it's post backs and SMP programs, special master's programs. You guys have heard me talk about these in the past before, but this website has really done all the legwork for me. And so I just want to briefly show you guys um, how you guys can search for these specific programs. And keep in mind, all of these programs are offered at DO Medical School. So that's the key point that I always emphasize when I talk to you guys about doing a special master's program. Um, it needs to be at a medical school. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your money. So let's get into it. Um, as you guys can see, there's this post back pre-med programs tab. So we'll click on that. Um, and you guys can explore this more on your own time, but I just want to kind of show you guys that all of these medical schools um, listed here have these masters in biomedical science programs. They may be called different things. Some are masters of science, some are masters of art. Um, it looks like most of them say biomedical science. And these are all programs that are going to be geared towards you all who have a low GPA, and it's specifically a low science GPA. Um, and essentially what these programs are going to help you do is show the medical schools where you do the program that you're capable of handling a rigorous medical school curriculum. Um, it's not going to replace your undergraduate GPA. It's not going to add to your undergraduate GPA. It's simply going to give you a master's level GPA. So these are all master's programs and you don't want to do them unless they are a master's program. So you don't want to just get a certificate. You want to actually get your master's degree. Um, and essentially all of these programs are going to teach very similar courses to what you're going to see in medical school. So you're going to do biochemistry, you're going to do anatomy, physiology, some might do neurology, um, cell biology, um, histology. They're going to vary slightly in the classes that they do offer, um, but you want to make sure that the program that you do is a maximum of one year. So I think it's a little overkill if you do two years in one of these programs, just because it's unnecessary. Unless you are focusing on research, then some of these programs do have a two-year option where you can kind of do the classes over the span of two years, but in conjunction with doing research as well. So usually you're not going to take additional classes. You're not going to take more classes than other schools are offering. Um, you're just going to be adding in some research to your program. And so yeah, as you guys can see, a lot of the DO schools offer these programs. It's becoming a very popular thing. And obviously it's because the schools get more money out of you. I hate to say it, but medical school 
these programs, it, they're businesses. They're there to make money. And yes, they're there to educate you and help you become a successful physician. But, you know, it's, it's out of cost and it's a steep cost and it's a steep price, um, both in time and money. And so if you do one of these programs, it's going to be very similar to doing a year of medical school. Um, it's going to be similar price. It's going to be similar in intensity. Um, and so just be prepared for that. Um, but you guys are investing in your future and it's really hard to come back from a low GPA. Yes, you can supplement it with a very competitive MCAT score, but, but even then a lot of medical schools are really wanting to see good grades as well as a good MCAT score. Um, and even just getting average is okay but they don't want to see really low GPAs. Now, if you guys didn't know, I actually did one of these programs um, and was able to actually get into medical school upon completion of my program. Each program is going to have a different set of requirements that's going to help propel you into their medical school. And keep in mind, wherever you do your program, so whichever medical school you choose to do this program at is where you're going to have your best shot at getting into medical school. So make sure to, to choose a program where you wouldn't mind doing medical school. Um, it's not hard and fast that you will have to do med school there. And they actually encourage you to apply to other medical schools while you're doing this program. Because in the end, if their students can get into another medical school, they can claim that their program was successful and that a higher percentage of their students went on to medical school, whether it be their own or another medical school. But like I was saying, there's a different set of requirements that you have to fulfill in these programs um, in order to be eligible to go to medical school, specific GPA that you have to reach um, in order to be considered for medical school. And so if we look at um, some of these programs, you can see that some of them, for example, Des Moines University College of Osteopathic Medicine, here at the bottom where it says MS in Biomedical Sciences, it says there's no bridge between the master's program and the College of Medicine, but an interview is granted to enrolled students who meet certain criteria. So some of these schools will offer you an interview if you do well in the program, but they're telling you that even if you do really well in the program, there's no guarantee that you'll be admitted into their medical school, but you will most likely get an interview. And so take a look at um, these different schools. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of them. They all have different requirements. They all have um, different information that's gonna be very valuable to you guys who are looking to supplement a low GPA and still wanting to go to medical school. Now, while we're on the topic of kind of low GPAs, struggling to get into med school, and what are your options? We know there's post backs and special master's programs, which is what I briefly just touched on, but there is another option. So for students that do end up doing these programs, these special master's programs, and end up not getting into a medical school, um, there is a last resort. And I only know about this because I have a friend um, doing this currently. Shout out to Joe. And just a little background between Joe and I. Joe actually used to watch my YouTube videos. Um, he took my advice. He did one of these special master's programs, actually the same one I did. And while I was in medical school at that school and he was doing the master's program, we actually met and became really good friends. And so it's kind of a small world that, you know, you could be watching someone's YouTube video and then end up meeting them in real life and then just becoming really great friends. Um, but Joe is currently um, doing this program. He's out at St. George's University. So it's a Caribbean medical school, a very well-known, a very um, good quality medical school that produces great physicians that helps um, their students get into medical school very seamlessly, especially coming from the Caribbean, which sometimes can be a little bit more difficult, not impossible. So Joe's doing a post back program out at St. George's University, the medical school in the Caribbean. And from what he tells me and from the research I've done on the school is you do one semester, it's very similar to the special master's programs that you'll see here in the States. From what he tells me, it's very intense. So he's taking the same classes that 
the medical students there are taking. It's not directly with the med students, but it's the same concepts. It's the same material that the med students are learning. And basically the requirements for his program are as long as you get a 3.0 during that one semester, um, you are directly admitted into that medical school. So it's a great opportunity for people who maybe did a post back or a special master's program, didn't do as well in the program, but still wants to go to medical school. This is your last resort. So you can find one of these programs out in the Caribbean. And that's if you apply to the Caribbean Medical School and don't get in. They may require you to do one of these programs, which is one semester. But the nice thing is they guarantee that you will be admitted into the medical school as long as you complete their GPA requirement. So that's a very nice reassurance, something that a lot of these programs in the United States do not offer. So if you don't mind going to a Caribbean medical school, um, this is a great option for you. So the last thing that I wanna touch on in this video, going back to this website, this is gonna be for all the international students. I get so many inquiries or questions um, from international students wanting to know more about how they can get into medical school here in the United States. And up until this point, I really didn't have a great answer for you guys. Um, but if you guys see down here, there's an international students tab, like how convenient is that? So if you click on it, there's a yes, there's a no, and there's a case by case. So obviously we're not gonna click on the no's, but if we click on the yes, the schools that accept international students, there you go. There's 15 DO schools that you guys can apply to um, that accept international students. So I think that's really awesome. It makes it so easy to find schools. Literally, guys, this is your list of schools to apply to. There's 15 DO schools that are saying, yes, we, we take international students. So apply to all of these schools. So as you guys saw on the website, there's so many other filters that will help you guys choose which medical school is right for you based on MCAT, based on GPA, based on where the school is located, you know, whether it's a private school or um, a public school or based on tuition. There's so many factors that go into choosing a medical school. But like I tell everyone, you go to this school where you're accepted, okay? Unless you get into several and you get to actually choose which school you get to go to, you kind of apply very broadly to as many schools as you can, um, keeping in mind that it is expensive to apply to medical school. Um, and then you just simply go to the one that accepts you. That's the best piece of advice I can give you guys. But hopefully this video will really help a lot of you guys out there kind of navigate your way through this process, um, especially for people with a low MCAT and a low GPA. Um, I know it was difficult for me when I was doing it, and that's why I offer pre-med advising because the pre-med advisors that we have nowadays, most of them never went to med school. Um, they didn't struggle to you know, get through school, let alone to medical school, and they really don't know the process. So you guys want to talk to someone like myself or someone that you know that did, that struggled to get into medical school and kind of figure out how they did it. So if you guys want to talk to me, like I said, come shoot me a message on Facebook, Med School Mentor, um, and we can kind of figure this out and navigate this process together. So hopefully this video is helpful if it was. Give it a like. I'm so happy to be making more videos for you guys again. Make sure to comment. Leave me questions down below. I'll get back to you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video.